Safe Working Procedure, Tools and Instruments Bunkering Procedures Bunkering Procedure Bunkering is a process by which ship is supplied with fuel oil or lubricating oil for its use. Bunkering is hazardous process and everybody should be very careful in their duties for a safe bunkering operation. Chief engineer should calculate and plan which bunker tank will receive what quantity of fuel oil or lube oil from the shore office. Chief engineer will also instruct the crew and officers about which tanks should be filled. Sequence of tanks to be filled. Safe bunkering procedure. Emergency procedures in case of oil is spilled. Role and responsibilities of each officer during bunkering. Sounding to be taken for each tank and quantity in each tank should be recorded. All deck scuppers are to be closed by cementing them. All save all trays are to be plugged. Overflow tank to be kept empty. No smoking sign should be positioned. Opposite side bunker manifold valve should be in closed position. All equipment in SOPEP locker should be checked and kept in readiness. Pumping rate with supplier should be agreed upon. Bunkering hose is to be connected with ship's manifold. The bunker samples provide vital evidence to support claims against suppliers and to provide protection when facing port state control. It is important for the master to retain the bunker samples on board, to determine the quality specification and to demonstrate compliance with Annex 6 bunker sulfur limits. Bunkering is to be started with a lesser rate. Tank to be sounded frequently. When the tank has reached about 85% of the capacity, valve for another tank may be opened so that the previous tank can be filled up to 90% slowly, thus avoiding any chance of overflow. After bunkering is over manifold valve is to closed and blanked off. The chief engineer will make the entry of the operation in oil record book along with received BDN.